Venice, queen of the Adriatic, famous among other things for its pigeons, of every color and creed, ripe for the plucking. The natives call them Turismo. After dark, Venice is a romantic fairyland, but in the dark alleyways, not every path leads to enchantment. Don't Come on, let's have a good time, huh? I don't want to, now leave me alone! You heard the lady. What's in it, dear? What's in it? Marvelous. Where did you find Romeo? Well, he seemed all right at first. He picked you up? No. You picked him up? I guess I made a mistake. I only wanted to see Venice at night. Uh, yes, well, Miss... Uh... Allardyce, Kathy Allardyce. Well, Miss Allardyce, where are you staying? At the Royal Daniele. Good, I'll take you back there. But I don't know your name. Simon Templer. <laughs> Tourist. Interfere. So you muffed it? I couldn't help it, Foots. I'm fine with the camera. But the other side of it? And this girl, she's been around plenty. All right, Carlo. We'll have to set her up with Prince Ubaldo. You picked him up, didn't you? What if I did? You know, she's becoming a tramp. You leave her alone for two minutes and she'll pick up the first man she sees. No, Helen, she's safely home. Thanks to Mr. Temple. All right, let's forget it. Forget it? A broken-down bullfighter in Madrid. A muscle-bound skin diver in Nice. Oh, shut up! And now a greasy-haired gigolo in an alley. Well, nothing happened! I'll bet it wasn't your fault. Now, both of you, stop it! I didn't want to come to Europe. No, it was her idea! I have told you repeatedly not to refer to Helen as her. That's the root cause of it. I'm the wicked stepmother. And you hate the competition. Kathy, be quiet. If you weren't so stupid, you'd see right through her. All she married you for was money. Insolent little brat. Helen, for heaven's sake. She's your daughter, not mine. <coughs> for all I care, you can give her to the garbage man. Kathy, why do you act this way? Sorry? Well, Helen's only trying to do what's best for you. If she'd like to take a hairbrush to me. So would I sometimes. Except it seems a little late right now. I guess I haven't been much of a father. Oh, Daddy. Well, you were just a baby when your mother died. And I was always so absorbed in law and politics. Kathy, I've neglected you. No, you haven't. I love Helen very much. She means everything to me. And so do you. Now, please. As a favor to me, will you try and meet her halfway? I'd do anything for you, Daddy. You know that. And try, will you? Just a little cooperation. Thank you, baby. Are you still going to Rome tomorrow? I have to, important business. I'm spending the day with Mr. Templer. He's going to show me Venice. I'll ask Helen to come along. 
That's my girl. Uh, that's the bridge of science. Designed by a man called Contini, built around 1600. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. This is very kind of you, Simon. It's my pleasure. Hey, when do we eat lunch? Hungry? Starved. More of that, Betsy. I don't have much. I better go get some more. May I ask you a question? Go ahead. You like Kathy? Meaning, do I like her money? Oh, she's told you. Well, then our mother left for a million dollars in trust. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Well, she's young, rich. Romantic, pretty. She's uh, an easy prey for fortune hunters. You've a right to be worried. Well, it hasn't been easy. I only married John a year ago. I'm not used to this role of heavy-handed stepmother. I can see that. Kathy's mother died when she was eight. And all through her adolescence, she ran more or less wild. Uh, John was busy in politics. How did you meet him? Oh, after he became district attorney, I went to work for him as a secretary. Kathy classifies me as a, as an unfortunate office romance. I wouldn't put up with it except... You love him? Oh, well, yes. And since Kathy means a great deal to him, uh, well, she has to mean a great deal to me, too. Please. Waldo, what's the matter? You've been acting so strange lately. It's over, isn't it? I thought you'd never get the message. But since you finally have, yes, it's over. Oh, my, don't say this. I'm sick of the sight of you. Don't look like this. You didn't expect it to last forever, did you? But I'm in love with you. That's too bad. Watch your is coming. Now get lost. Oh, but you can't throw me out, not like this. I already have. I suppose I can take the clothes you gave me. Or are you saving them for the next one? Take the clothes, take everything, but get lost! I'll get back at you, lover, somehow. What do you want? You, back at the palazzo tonight. Nothing doing, I'm sick of it. You're sick of it? <laughs> you puffed up phony. I spent a fortune on that crummy palazzo of yours. I came along even the rats had left. Now it's the smartest gambling palazzo in Venice. So what? Your title has tourist value. That's what you paid for. If it wasn't for me, you'd be in the gutter by now. You're going too far, Foots. And I'll talk. About what? You forget I'm the only man alive who knows about the Seferano case. Are you threatening me? I'm kidding. <laughs> you better be. What do you want me to do this time? Uh, the usual princely routine with a girl called Kathy Allardyce. She's staying with her father and her stepmother at the Royal Daniele. She rich? Very. There's no problem. The old man's gone to Rome. Just go over there this afternoon and pick her up. Okay. Oh, and uh, try to be charming. Uh, that's what you're paid for.
Oh, so clumsy. Please forgive me. Oh, it's nothing. I'm very, very sorry. Oh, it's nothing, really. You're so gracious. American? Mm, yes. Your first time in Venice? Yes. Enjoying it? Fabulous. Surely you're not alone. No. I'm with my stepmother. Perhaps it would amuse you if... Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, for you, signorina? Oh, uh, no, thanks. Uh, you were saying? Oh, yes. If you and your stepmother are free this evening, it would give me great pleasure to entertain you. Well, that's uh, very kind of you. You might meet some amusing people, and my humble palazzo is at your disposal. A select crowd, some champagne, dancing. I do hope you will come. Oh, boy. Five minutes alone, and another pickup. He's invited us to his house. Oh, we've simply got to make Simon take us. Principe Ubaldo Torre e Crescenzo. A real live prince. Mm. <laughs> I thought I told you to leave. I'm flying home tomorrow. But I need an airplane if you don't mind. It doesn't happen to be one until the morning. Satisfied? I'll have to be. I can't wait for you to meet him. But he can't wait to meet us either. We run out of money. Will they take travelers' checks? Give him half a chance to take a girl. Signorina, I am so honored that you'd come. Oh, well, this is Mrs. Allardyce. Torre Crescenzo, signora. How do you do? And this is Mr. Templer. Delighted, signore. Piacere. Permit me to offer your so charming lady some champagne. Well, thank you. Peanuts. I beg your pardon. Meaning the big game is over there. Allow me to show you. Well, thank you, uh, Miss. Call me Goldilocks. Everybody does. Why should I be the exception? <laughs> Indeed. Uh. Uh. Thanks on me, Lira. Thanks on me, Lira. Keep that on. Thanks on me. Nothing. Nothing. Let's back her up. I bring you luck, Amore. The end of that puke. Would you like some champagne? Mm, please. But uh, not here. My villa, not far away, is more sympathetical. I'd adore it.
Да, 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 да. Спасибо. Excuse me, Roger. Demica. Sweet dreams. Oh, this must be a dream. Venice, moonlight, a real life prince. You'd make a beautiful princess, Demi. You really think so? Very beautiful. Thank you, Demica. You will play another shoe, signore, after eating? No, thank you. This is your lucky night. I don't believe in pushing it. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Drop in again sometime. Thank you. See you, madam. Cash or check, sir? Your check? Yes. Cash, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wait another place. Where's Kathy? Oh, she's around. Look for the prince and you'll find her. Have a drink, Amore, for bringing you luck. I'm looking for the prince. Oh, he's gone. Oh? With the girl. You sure? I saw them leave. Well, where's he taking them? Where he takes all of them. The address. For 800,000 lira. 400,000, you'll get the rest later. If you're telling the truth. Of course. More. Yes, my princess. I never dreamt she'd do it again after last night. I feel so responsible for her. Well, it's not your fault. Well, I should have kept an eye on her. I got so involved in the game. Here we are. <laughs> And then he fell. There seemed to be a, a flash of light. Light? Like lightning struck. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm so confused. Kathy, 
Was there anybody here apart from you and Obaldo? No. Are you sure? Yes. Can you handle a launch? I think so. Then get her out of here fast. Come on. But where? Where I'm staying with an old friend, Don Batista Altamora. Tell him I sent you. That'll be enough. I'll follow in Obaldo's launch. Now, you leave your boat on the Rialto. You know where we stopped this morning? Yeah. There's a street called Calle de la Madonna. Follow the street to the end, you come to a church directly across from the church of the house all unserved. Don Batista's. You got that? Yes. My dear, drink of this. Thank you. Your rooms will be ready shortly, Signora. Don Batista, we're putting you to so much trouble. I'm no. a... You are friends of Simon. This is enough. You're very kind. Now that will be Simon now. Scusi. Oh, Helen, I'm so frightened. I know, baby. So am I. What will happen to me? Nothing. The champagne was doped. Doped? By Ubaldo? Who else? But why? For what reason? Kathy, the light you spoke of, could it have been made by a flashbulb? I don't know. I, I suppose it's possible. Why? Well, Kathy wasn't alone at Ubaldo's. Somebody left very shortly after we arrived. Was that motorboat we heard? Hmm. Yeah, it uh, sounds to me like the old badger game. Rich girl, man. Compromising situation and photographer. Si, si. Ubaldo is known for this sort of thing. Yes, but why the shooting? It does not make sense. Unless somebody wanted to frame Kathy for murder. But I never saw Ubaldo before in my life. What can we do, Simon? Well, uh, let's get some sleep. We'll talk again in the morning. Is there any way we could get some clothes? Well, I go to the hotel and pick them up. Oh, good. I have a key in my bag. Come on now, Kathy, don't worry. You were so doped you couldn't see straight. You couldn't hit a wall, let alone a bow, though. I had to find you, Amore, and you did not give me your address. So you found out where the ladies were staying? And put two and two together. Yeah, which came to 400,000 lira, which I owe you. Uh -huh. You don't have to count it. It's all there. Well, Goldilocks, you really stirred the porridge this time, didn't you? 
What do you mean? The old badger game. Soft lights, sir. Sweet music. A rich American girl. A hot-eyed gigolo prince. Gets her into a compromising situation by feeding her with dope champagne. Then out steps a photographer and flash. We're all set for a little blackmail. You know, you're not only handsome, you're brilliant. I'm going to argue with you. Why did you tip me off? Money. Well, there was another reason. None. The prince threw you out. I left. I'm sick of him. Oh, then you won't be going to his funeral. Funeral? The prince is with his ancestors. I don't believe it. Bang, bang. Right through the heart. <laughs> You're trying to trick me. Carlo hasn't a nerve. Um, oh, nothing. I've said enough already. Okay. Tell me a little more. How we dance? Oh, let me go. Carlo who? Carlo Zaghetti. Mm -hmm. Address? Calais Salita Tre Porte, number four. But Carlo couldn't have done it. Then who did? I don't know. What's for the Nadia? No. Come on, Goldilocks, I'm not blind. He left the palazzo right on the prince's heels. Now, admit it. Please, don't make me say any more. Just tell me why. Oh, Umbaldo had something on him. Something to do with the Zeferano case. Ah, oh, yes, La Contessa Zeferano. Found dead on the beach after an all-night orgy three years ago, wasn't it? Yes. And I won't say any more. You don't have to. Now it's Carlo's turn. <laughs> What do you want? Who killed Obaldo? Ah, you, you talk crazy. Fortunati? Get out, I call the police. You do that. I'll wait. <laughs> With a flash of light, weren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. The pictures, where are they? In the dark room, through there. Let's get them. I tried to save him. Why is Simon Tepler mixed up in this? A friend of the Allardyces. And I'm going to have to change my plans a bit. Foods, can I ask you a question? What is it? What have you got against the Allardyce girl? Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't understand. It's her father I want. John Allardyce. But not quick. I want him to eat his heart out bit by bit every day for the rest of his life. It's incredible. Now, why should this man, what's his name? Foots Fortunati. Why should he want to do this to me? I never even heard of him. Don Batista, what do you know about him? Six years ago, he was deported from America. Prince Ubaldo was broke. Fortunati took over his palazzo, turned it into a smart casino. With the prince as a front man. Si, si. His title attracted the tourists. But there is something else. Oh. Fortunati was questioned about the murder of the Countess Seferano. He was never charged, but the police are still working on it. Well, if you ask me, I think the police should be working on this. I mean, after all, Kathy is innocent. Signora, 
If Fortunati is behind this, it is most dangerous. He has many friends in high places. What do you suggest? I have a little place in the village where I was born. San Michele di Fugazza. It is 80 kilometers from here. They would be safe there. Oh, when could I take them? I will take them in the morning. It is better, Simon, that you are not seen leaving Venice. Fortunati has spies everywhere. Tomorrow. See? The ladies. They are the signora and signorina. Alla this. Yes, what of it? The signorina is a wanted for questioning. Moment. Oh, no. You are not one of the regular carabinieri, aren't you? Well, just for a few minutes, but no more. Thank you. Just a few minutes, and he mustn't tire himself with talk. Is that understood? Yes, sister. It is not as bad as it looks. Sorry I involved you in this. Simon, I am a fanatic for justice. Experience has taught me that justice is often served better outside the law. Have you any news of the ladies? None, I'm afraid. But we'll find them. These men, did you uh, get a look at them? There were four, perhaps five. One of them was big, very big. Another was short and dark. It was all so quick. How did they know where to find you? Did you tell anyone where you were going? The staff at the pensione. It is not easy to keep secrets from them. Can you trust them? They have all been with me for years. Well, for the night in you, I was staying with you. He could have had your house watched. It is possible. Signore. Yes, sister. Don't worry, we'll sort it out. Tread softly, Simon. Watch out for the law. With my third eye. Signor Kevlar. Guido Gabetti, police. What can I do for you, Commendatore? Ah, solo ispettore. For the moment. But with your help. About what? Several things. But we begin with uh, Don Battista Altamura. What about Don Battista? We, uh, in the Giudizia, do not like what happened to him. He's a greatly respected lawyer, an old friend. It's like, well, uh, like attacking a policeman. I agree. I thought you would. We have questioned him, of course, but uh, he answers nothing. Do you think I could tell you more? 
I'll give you three reasons why a man won't talk to the police. One is fear, two, antipathy. We know that these do not apply to John Batista. And the third? He is uh, covering up for someone. Meaning me? Your reputation goes before your senior temper. You flatter me. Only if you work with us. But I'm sure you will. I promise. Good. You see, uh, someone tampered with the evidence in Ubaldo's villa. No. Yes, the gun, the bottle of champagne, the glasses. Uh, wipe it free of fingerprints. By the murderer. By you, perhaps. <laughs> You're joking. I warn you. Scusi, signore. I warn you. Do not take the law into your own hands. Even with the Guapo Fortunati. Fortunati. Si, Fortunati. It is said uh, Venice is uh, sinking into the mud. That is something for the engineers to solve. But when it starts to wallow in the filth of a deported gangster, that is my problem. What are you doing about it? I'm watching and waiting. At the moment, I have only a suspicion. Without proof, my hands are tied. And you uh, want me to furnish that proof? I would light 12 candles to you if you could. Hmm? You, you are known as the saint. Oh. All right, I'll do my best. Thank you. By the way, why does Fortunati have his knife into Kathy Allardyce? Why not uh, ask John Allardyce? He's on his way back to Venice. Yes, I know. I suggested it. Ciao, Svetori. Arrivederla. Helen, this is all my fault. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a little late for apologies. What are they going to do with us? Can't you guess? Ransom? They're going to take your father for every nickel he has in the world. And he'll pay it. And you don't think I'm worth it? What does it matter what I think? We'll be dead broke just because you can't exercise a little self-control. How long are you going to keep us here? I've been told say nothing. Well, have you been in touch with my father? Thanks. That's all right, I'll handle it. But my father will pay you whatever you want, but please, please let us out of here. You don't think it's money I'm after, do you? I don't want your old man's dough. What do you want? I want him to spend every cent he's got looking for you. He'll be alive, all right, but he'll never find you. But why? Why? <laughs> It's an old story, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Take it back. They want a ransom, obviously. I don't think so. And what do they want? Believe me, Simon, I've never even heard of this Prince Ubaldo. You ever heard of Foots Fortunati? What did you say? Foots Fortunati. Yes. Some years ago, I sent his brother Angelo Fortunati to jail for life. Two years later, another man confessed, but by then it was too late to do anything about it. Why? A month earlier, Angelo made a break. He was killed. Explains a great deal. It's a vendetta. One of the more charming principles of the Mafia. Well, I'm going to the police. I wouldn't do that. Why not? Fortunati is so mad for revenge, you'd shoot them on the spot before the police could save them. How would you handle it? Pay for it's a visit. When are you going to open up again, huh? When we observe the decencies. <laughs> Palazzo's closed in mourning for uh, His Late Highness. 
would want to offend local sensibilities now, would we? <laughs> I am thinking more about the woman. What are you going to do for it, sir? Yeah, that's a good question. Bring the girl up here. What's wrong to you? What for? He will tell you. Come on! All right, all right, you don't have to paw me. Good evening. Simon. Where's Helen? I don't know. They, they came for a few hours ago and took her someplace upstairs. <laughs> One down, two to go. I've waited a long time for this, and I'm going to enjoy it. Give me another box, will you? Okay, Foots. without phoning. I hope it's not inconvenient. I found him in the hall. Well, we better have a nice, friendly little chat. Well, this cube is good for something. I will enjoy it. It may be your last. Tony! You see the uh, big one? Rather ugly. Uglier than him. Tony! He can't hear you. What do you mean? He's in orbit. I've put him there. Oh, and by this time, Kathy should be back at the hotel. <laughs> You're bluffing. I'm at your way. Go and see. Lovely aroma. Two down and one to go. What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Bad habit of mine thinking out loud. I get this, Templar. If that girl's gone, you're dead. Oh, I don't think so. You don't? No. Uh, you remember the Sephirana case? What about it? Well, when you killed Ubaldo, you overlooked one or two little things, like he had written it all down, including photographs, and I have them. You're bluffing again. All in an envelope. With the usual interested third party, who, if I don't make the usual phone call by a certain time, will hand them over to the police, one is Vittori Gambetti. I really don't believe it. I thought you mightn't. So I uh, had photostat copies made. <laughs> Try a little butter on it. Now let's talk business. I can wait. Where's Mrs. Allardyce? I'm right here and don't move. Foots, take his gun. A very good entrance. You're not surprised. Somebody led them to Don Batista. I ruled out Kathy. It had to be you. A bluff. Invisible ink. You're very clever. Oh, it's not it, really. I want to tell you something. I was in love with Angelo Fortunati. My kid brother. I adored him, and we were going to be married. But John Allardyce put him in jail. Where he died. 
trying to escape. And why not? He was innocent. Another guy confessed when it was too late, when Angela was dead. So you and Foots have all this time been twisting up your hatred, waiting your chance. Uh, making our chance. And you married Allardyce, hating him. I swore I'd get even. And I will. What's that? for the man she loved. You could put it that way. If you were kind, Spettori. Uh, then I will. Now I know why people call you the saint. That makes two of us, Commendatore. <laughs> 